Welcome back guys to Let's Play Metroid Fusion Part 3. Last time we destroyed the Zabby and now this time we are heading back to good old computer to go into another sector. Oh fun oh boy. Oh jeez. Like I said I always liked how they added new um new patterns to old reoccurring enemies and oh god it's him or her or it more like it yes that is SAX and well we don't want to be screwed by her now do we now that's just wrong anyway if we head in here since we got the high jump now we can get this power up over here uh, as well as the one that's below us. Which is all hunky dory and stuff. You'd think you'd need this uh, gravity suit or something, but no, 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 there's a hidden platform. All oh, dandy. Like I said, there, there seems to be a, a, a large amount of those platforms in this game that you just bomb to and cover and stuff. It's odd. And now you have to use your. Morph ball jump, which you also get packed with your with your high jump in this nice neat combo meal, which is excellent. I love that. So we can get the missile tank. Huzzah! Or huzzay. I'm actually sorta of excited how the the quality of these videos actually turned out. I mean, since they've been captured from, you know, a Game Boy player after all. It's pretty exciting, I have to say. It's not as bad as I would think it would be. Yep. I wasn't going to emulate. Oh, that brings up the point. Uh, why am I playing this on my Game Boy Player when I can emulate it? Uh, well, the thing is, I've I've actually already recorded two playthroughs of this via emulator. One time by myself and one time with a friend. But the problem was, well, let's just say the audio desynced. And well, that didn't end so well. So now I'm I'm doing the authentic way and recording it via via Game Boy Player using my Dazzle and stuff, which is great and fine and hunky dory. Hope it doesn't mi mind you. You people don't mind and such. Yeah. And at the time, I actually wasn't really confident. In my Dazzle's recording capabilities. But now I am. And I do endure it. Oh, it's fun to record stuff now. I have to say. So yeah, let's finally get out of this place and go to Sector... 3. Or 4. No, 4. Oh, well, I just spoiled it. Oh, well. It's... It's a 10-year-old video... God, it's 10 years old. Jesus Christ. Wow. <laughs> I never realized that. Yeah, this game was made in 2002. That is that is so surprising. We've got trouble releasing... Yeah, sec releasing the secur security lock was a bad idea. You don't say. Since it releases it to other sectors, and now they're contaminated. I think later down the road, we, ha we ha do have to unlock more security locks. I think it's, mm, I don't know, I think it's mandatory or something, it will help out a lot. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities, but does it have a reason? Probably not, it's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me only heartless, I must stop it before it learns the potential and threatens the universe. Bum bum bum. And the glowing four is lighting up, so that get, that means we're going to sector four. La do da, do day. Ah, uh, but let's not talk about that song from Journey. Do do do. Tapping on my computer with one hand. I wonder how fast Sam types with one hand, since she's like forced to do it whenever she's in her suit. Uh, finds X fascinating. That's that's not a sign. That's not a sign of any uh, suspicious activity now, is it? The computer thinking X is fascinating. And now we have to find Ceres, which we hope hasn't been infected by the X parasites. Which of course it probably has, but 
Yeah, for some reason the computer has as hope that it isn't. Stupid computers. Anyway, let's head on out. Like Autobots. Except they roll on out. Samus just speed boosts out. Oh, and I do love Sector 4. I just love it. Both musical pieces from both its sections. The upper and lower. It's good stuff in here. Also, it's, it's actually quite fascinating that they actually have a good balance between, like, uh, the organic look, like, the actual, the space station look and the, uh, organic look at some places. It's very fascinating. They do make a great balance. There wasn't a time where I felt like it's too heavily a space station or too heavily, uh, not, too heavily just, like, like organic that looks like a like a planner or something it's just the perfect amount and I do like the I do like it how it's typically like the lower down you go into the section the more like life you see and organic and stuff I sort of like that and more looks like uh, a certain plant like the bottom of sector 3 sort of looks like Norfair at the very very bottom and this little underground section that you uncover by using a power bomb Ah, uh, but that'll be way later. And the bottom of this place looks like a giant coral reef and stuff. I mean, it's it's a really nice balance. And like you see, like the very top of this sector, as we're traversing it through now, it's just this, like y you can tell it's a space station, <laughs> basically. So I I sort of like that theme of it. It's very nice. Anyway, let's head on to Ceres, because we need his, well, we gotta check on him first, but we also need his ability to get rid of all this electric water. I wonder if you use like a game shark to cheat, nah, 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 that probably wouldn't happen. I was wondering if you use like a game shark to cheat and stuff. I wonder if, and basically somehow try to, try to skip skipped uh, turning off the electrical system. I wonder if the lower sector sector would be electrified. But yet again, they probably didn't develop that into the game. Because this game is almost impossible to sequ sequence break. Like, oh god, Ceres is dead. But literally, this game, like, the only time I've seen it really uh, sequence breaked is with tool-assisted speed run. Like, tool-assisted like, way. Like, someone using like speed boosting through like a certain uh, X X missile thing that stops you and stuff in the hallways and stuff. Also, the charge beam takes down the eyes in one hit, which is very nice. And let us find this Ceres X. That is also interesting to note. Most of the X names in, uh, in the Japanese version are are not like Ceres X. It's more like Neo. This is actually why I prefer calling. Oh no, no, never mind. I was about to spoil something. Never mind. <laughs> but yet again, I would be spoiling a, a ten-year-old game. Now wouldn't I? Ten years, Jesus Christ! I can't believe it. It has been that long. It's crazy. But yeah, if you stand in this middle section, you're pretty much safe for the most part. Just when it does the little wave. That means it's going to jump up in the air, and that's basically all you know. If you if you like stand on the top, you're pretty much fine. And it typically jumps over the middle part too, so you can hang out there a little bit. I don't think I get hit during this boss fight, so yeah. He's very predictable. Let's just say that. Just because his pattern's so easy. And missile. Oh, isn't that creepy? Three like. Like a 180 freaking head spin. That is just crazy creepy. I wonder how like Samus was thinking that mentally. Is... <laughs> Samus's reaction. Jesus. She's probably scarred from this. I would if I saw a disembodied floating head going like rapidly spinning in the air, screaming. Little freaky, I have to say. <laughs> 
Not saying that, you know, Metroid is meant for like car or anything, no, not really. But just like I said, there's some freaky stuff sometimes. And there's some freaky stuff in some of the like normal like normal Nintendo games. Like Gygus! Oh god, Gygus. <laughs> From Earthbound. Jesus Christ. I am happy. Oh dear God. Ness. I swear, if they make them a, like a Smash trophy in one of the Super Smash Brothers games, that would be so terrifying. Oh well. Anyway, now we're going to head off to turn off the power just so we don't get our cells electrocuted. And I think I actually get out of this area in three minutes, surprisingly. Do I? Hmm, I don't know. Tune in to find out. Because I'm actually intrigued if I did at the end of this part. Because I barely remember how I've been uh, split up these videos. So do I, do I, do I? I don't know. And we use a speed booster to activate these controls. And if you really wanted to, you can use a speed booster. I mean, you can use the shine spark to shoot, shoot your way all the way back. But I need this missile anyway, so yeah cool stuff because this is a 100% guys you know and that's how I'm gonna roll so you're like Optimus Prime god what's up what's up with all these transformers shine spark ho and I got zapped well poo yeah you have the shine spark down here just so you can make your way out of this place and I think I have a Shine Spark fail. Yeah, no Shine Spark. Oh, sigh. You can usually use Shine Spark this, like Shine Spark into that missile, just so it'll be like a, a few seconds faster or something. And Shine Spark. Oh God, <laughs> that was terrible. There we go. That's much better. We have room now. I'm gonna make it. And there we go. And golden crab, you're dead. I wonder how those crab legs taste like. They're actually pretty huge, I have to say. I mean, I, I, I can't believe that they're not making the space pirates aren't making a business off those guys. Jesus. So Ceres has been infected by the X2. Of course, what do you expect? They they devour everything. What do you not understand this? Uh, so we're gonna get a super missile upgrade, which is cool because it upgrades all our missiles to super missiles, which is just crazy. If you think about it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next part, so see you guys. And we'll be heading off to Sector 3 Pyro.